This isn't an Audacity tutorial really, but I want to show you some of my stupid video editing workflow. And by video editing I totally mean audio editing, because I now know. Video editing doesn't matter at all, all it matters is the sound. I mean, can you even watch a dubbed anime? Itta. That's a screencast I've taken with OBS Studio for my next video, and it features my cute keyboard sounds, that everyone loves. Or, almost everyone. Oh, another thing about my screencasts, is that I'm trying to make them one shot. It is very easy and fast to make a 5 minute screencast with 5 cut scenes, but trust me, it is quite hard to make a 5 minute one shot, when you review things. A wrong click is enough to take the screencast all over again. Many times I have taken the same screencast like 10 times. Fine! I will stop BS now! I will open Audacity and I will proceed to this super sophisticated tutorial. I will grab my video file, and I will throw it on Audacity. But hold on a minute! Why Audacity looks like that? I promise, that was my last BS! Everything will move on normally from now on! So, that's the audio of my video! and these large waves is my stealthy keyboard keystrokes. The smaller ones is various sounds I want to remove. And then, you see that straight line? That means silence, only it isn't. There is some noise we can only see on Mixer, if we play the audio. I didn't capture the sound, so you aren't listening to it, but it is quite strong one. So we want to remove that. First we select a small portion that noise happens, to use it as a noise profile. And then from effects we want the noise reduction. Then we press on noise profile that is analyzing our selection, and I won't get bothered with the options, because it works fine with the defaults for most of the cases. Now we created our noise profile, we select our full audio, or the audio we want to apply the filter anyway, and we again select the noise reduction. And don't ask me why Audacity works like that. If we play the audio again, there will be a tiny tiny super tiny noise. We should create a new noise profile like before, and repeat. Or if we are lazy lazy super lazy, we can press Ctrl and R, and repeat our previous noise profile, which it was stronger, so it might distort the sound a bit. Anyway, all noise is gone now, and the next step is to remove some unwanted sounds. We select the part those sounds are happening, and then we will generate a silence, and that will pretty much mute them. And that was all! I will export this, and then I will replace the original audio in my video editor. So you see? There is some serious work going on on Baby Wogue Studios. And I maybe upload a tutorial on After Effects this time, to show you how you can apply video effects depending the keystrokes with JavaScript expressions. But for now, I better start doing the original video, that is a nice GNOME tip. See you in a bit!